We are live. So guys, as you can tell, um, a little bit different of a setup today. I am currently uh, filming, filming for uh, the Perfect Gym model. We are adding a brand new uh, source of lead gen that is not on the market right now. So there is no nobody in the industry that has a brick and mortar gym that is doing uh, what I am filming for uh, at all, right? It's, it's, it is completely fresh a blue ocean that I, I am uh, very confident because I test everything first at, at my gym, um, that it is going to be a game changer. So anyways, um, that is why I'm in the filming uh, mode right now. Um, but that is not what today's live is about. So today's live is going to be about, um, it is going to be about the number one resource that I have always used to grow my business, grow my personal life, uh, hit goals. Um, and I think you've heard me and probably other people talk about it, but I wanted to use today as a way to dig deeper into it um, and show you and, and explain to you exactly how I use this resource. Okay. So the number one resource that I use whenever I want to make a change, a massive change, um, learn something new, whatever it may be, is I find the person that is already doing what I want to do, right? I'll say it again. I find, I seek out the exact person or team or whatever that is currently already doing what I'm interested in doing. Um, and I aggressively try to work with them, right? Um, and so sometimes I, I'm able to work with the exact person or people that I want to. Sometimes I'm not. Um, but that is the number one strategy that I've always used. And it's, it's been a catalyst to massive growth for me um, with my gym, with Fitbiz, uh, with everything. Okay, so I'll, I'm going to bring it back to when I started. So when I first opened my gym, um, before, I, before I decided to do anything, um, and, and one thing I do want to say is I'm a very innovative person and I love to do things my way. And I love to sit down and think um, hard about how to solve a problem uh, or how to create a solution for a problem that I'm having. Um, and when you're following the advice of a mentor, of a coach, of somebody that's done it before, you're, it, it doesn't, it's not limiting your innovation, right? I'm talking about the experience that they have that you don't have yet. Right. So you may have more natural talent, more raw talent than them. You may be uh, have better solutions already in your head, but you don't have the experience. And that's the nugget that you want to extract from them. Right. That is the thing that you are trying to to get from them. So then you can immediately apply it to your situation uh, and fast track the years that it probably took them to uh, to uh, to tell you uh, in maybe 10 minutes what they're about to tell you. Right. It's kind of like I, I heard a story about Picasso um, and he was drawing a picture on a napkin, right? Uh, and it was a gorgeous picture and he was in a coffee shop. Uh, and when he was done drinking his coffee, he crumpled it up and he threw it away. And a guy came up behind him and he's like, hey, can I, can I buy that picture off you for 20 bucks? He's like, $20, you know, and this is back in, in their, in their time. Uh, time. Um, and he's like, oh, it's, it's worth, it's worth $20,000. Right. And the guy's like, yeah, but it's, it, it took you, it took you, you know, 20 minutes to draw. And he's like, no, <laughs> that took me 20 years to create. Right. And what he's talking about is the experience that he put into whatever, whatever accumulated in 20 minutes. Right. But there's all that experience that went into him being able to create a piece of art like that in 20 minutes. It is the same way when it comes to working with a coach or a mentor or whoever, they're able to articulate things so quickly and so precisely because they have the experience of what to do and what not to do, that it is going to save you years of testing it out yourself, uh, getting feedback, and then making the adjustments. It's going to save you so much time and energy, right? And the way I do it, the way I look at finding somebody is if it is a massive change that I want to make, I'm looking to make a bigger investment. If it is a small little thing that I want to extract a, a, a you know, like, a, like I, I just want to learn how to, let's say, grow my Facebook group, right? Um, 
to me, that's a, a little bit of a, a, a subset of a bigger strategy, which might be like lead generation, right? So I will still find the experts at how to grow a Facebook group, uh, and I will do it exactly how they teach it until I'm doing better than them, right? And I do that with every single mentor uh, or coach that I work with. I will do it exactly how they teach it until I'm doing better than they are. And then I'll, then I'll modify things, right? Um, and so to me, that is a, a extremely valuable way to, to go about uh, learning. In fact, the reason I like it so much is guys, we're already conditioned to do this. We're already conditioned to be very good at hearing somebody articulate something to you and then you synthesizing it in your head and then you going and doing that thing or acquiring that skill or piece of knowledge. Like think about uh, in, like in school, okay? So you spend, most of us spend 12 years at minimum in school, right? Kindergarten through, through uh, high school. And that entire time, all you are doing to all you are trying to do is get the information that the teachers already have, learn it, and then use it in your life. Period. From learning the alphabet in kindergarten to learning uh, physics in high school um, and everything in between, the teachers already have that knowledge, right? And you are trying to get it from them, right? But the reason it works so well in school is because they have the experience of teaching it, right? And that's where a coach or a mentor comes in. And that's where the real value lies. Okay. There's a big difference between somebody that is already doing something that you want to do and somebody that is already doing it and then teaching it, right? Because you could find somebody that's amazing at physics, but they are not a mentor. They are not a coach. They do not know how to articulate the knowledge that they have uh, and, and put it in useful terms that you'll understand, right? That you'll be able to use and then apply. Mentors and coaches, they're much, much different, right? Like as an example, I teach gym owners how to grow uh, their business, right? Their micro gyms. So not only do I have a very successful micro gym that I am, I am doing whatever I, I teach at, but I spend a ton of energy and time uh, learning how to create content and information um, and putting together coaching programs and all of these things so that you can take that information that I have and apply it and use it at your gym very quickly, right? And so um, I think that there's, no one puts enough uh, uh, weight on that is there's, there's a massive difference between doing it and teaching it, right? And so like, as, a, as an example, like some of the best coaches in sports, like Phil Jackson, right? Not only was he a phenomenal player, but arguably a, a better coach, right? Um, but he had all of that experience from his time playing, you know? Um, and so for me, I always look at, uh, when I look at finding a mentor, I look for both of those things, right? I don't want a coach that has never played the game before, right? Just like you don't want a marketer, you know, telling you how to grow your gym and they'd never own a gym, right? They've, they've never had that conversation with uh, Mrs. Jones about needing to cancel or put it on free. So when you ask them that question, they'd be like, uh, well, let's just get you more leads so then you can make up for her. Like, <laughs> no, that is not, that, that is the wrong answer, right? Um, but that's what you're going to get with somebody that's never, that's never walked the walk. They're just talking to talk, right? Um, but likewise, you don't want to put, you know, put all of your time and energy on somebody that strong suit is not coaching or mentoring, right? Because even if they're doing it, uh, they may be like, yeah, man, all you have to do is just kick ass. If you get into the gym every day and you kick ass, like I do, like your gym is going to be amazing. Like there's nothing useful in there. There's no strategies. There's no tactics. They didn't take any time to put together, um, you know, steps on how you're actually going to do these things. Um, and then the final thing, if you can find it with a coach or a mentor is, uh, both one-on-one -on -one and group coaching. Okay. And I'll relate this back to the classroom. So when you are, when you are working in a class environment, a group environment, there's always, uh, there's always a, um, there's questions that maybe someone else in the class will ask, 
um, that you didn't think of or, or were afraid to ask, whatever it may be, but you're still extracting that same information from the answer that comes following the question, right? And so if someone's like, yeah, uh, you know, I didn't really understand that. Can you explain it again? And you're thinking in your head, like, shit, I didn't really understand that either. I'm so glad he asked, right? But now you have a second chance and the, and the teacher has a second opportunity to explain it maybe a little bit differently. So you benefit from that, which is why I like group, but I also like one-on-one -on -one, um, because then it allows you to get hyper-focused on um, your specific business and it allows you to uh, ask questions and get feedback immediately from, uh, from the question that you asked from your coach, which is how learning happens, right? You ask a question, they synthesize, they give you an answer pertaining to your question, which is why you can't necessarily just read a book um, and, and get all the information that you need from a book. Otherwise, there wouldn't be teachers at school, man. They would, <laughs> they would just send you all the books and be like, hey, read all these books and take all these tests. There wouldn't be any teachers, right? Why is there teachers, right? Well, because they are the ones that take the information from the book. They interpret it in a way that you can understand, knowing that you have never done this stuff before. Uh, and so at the end of the year, you now have the knowledge that they have. And what do you do? The next year, you go out and you, you do it again. And you get more knowledge and more knowledge. And when you finally get to the, the collegiate level or the university, um, the knowledge becomes more advanced, it becomes much more expensive, but the return on it, um, imagine if you wanted to learn how to be a doctor, um, but you never went to school to be a doctor and you just did it through trial and error. Uh, how fucking crazy would that be? You know, uh, you would literally just be chopping people up and, and you know, uh, learning how to stitch and doing all this stuff without schooling. Um, and, and you would be probably massively uh, unsuccessful, right? And so that's why you go to schools, so you learn everything, you acquire that knowledge, and then you apply it to your life. Um, and to me, that's what, that's what a good coach and a good mentor can do for you, saving you a massive amount of time and, and arguably uh, being the reason why you accomplish it in totality, because I, I don't believe that um, it, with every goal that you have, you can get there alone if you just put in enough time and effort. I mean, I think that there's going to be like some scenarios where you, you can't accomplish it. Like you're missing a piece of the puzzle. You are missing it, right? And, and, and you're not going to be able to find it yourself, right? Which is why you need an outsider's perspective to look at your business and say, aha, that right there, you might be too close, right? You might be too close to your business. And you're like, look, I got these memberships. Um, and I, I think I just got to figure out how to structure them, right? Like if you sign up for a 12 month membership, it's $69 a month. And if you sign up for a six month, it's $89 a month, but month to month. And they're like, so maybe I should propose this one first and then do that one next. And what do you think? And you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. It sounds like you've been thinking a lot about how to structure these memberships in initial sale. But from my point of view, they're all too cheap. You're never going to reach your goal with any of these. And they just might have that aha moment. Like, what do you mean? And it's like, well, have you done the math? You know, have, have you, have you taken a look at, you know, you, you say that you want to get to $50,000 a month in recurring revenue, uh, because that's what it'll, that's what you'll need to be able to delegate everything out to your team. So you can spend your time with your kids. Right. And they're like, yeah. Okay. Well, if you're selling $80 a month memberships, you know, uh, that's going to be like 800 members. And they're like, holy shit. Well, have you thought about what your business would look like with 800 members? Well, not really. Well, I would just hire more trainers. Did you, did you think that maybe the operation system would have to change it all? How do you currently fulfill? Well, each trainer has you know, their own clients. Okay. And how many clients do you have? 80. Well, how many per trainer? 20. So you have four trainers. Yep. Okay. So if you did the math and you fulfilled it exactly the same, but instead of 80 clients, you have 800. And that would mean instead of four trainers, you have 40. Well, I never really thought about that. Well, what do you think your business would look like with 40 trainers? Is that even something that's doable? Right. And so what the point I'm getting at is that this uh, a good coach, a good mentor has seen so many situations that they can analyze something very quickly, spot red flags, and then make those adjustments. Whereas it might take you years and years 
uh, to be able to do that. So I've done that. Um, I've done that with uh, the last point I'll make on it is the reason I like one on one bringing this full circle, because I, I was talking about uh, one on one coaching and mentoring, which I think is immensely valuable. It's how uh, it's how AI systems learn. Right. So if you if you were to like look into Google AI, right, um, there's it's not just there's not just an input to, a you know, what, OK, so there, there would be two uh, two like let's just call them uh, uh, smart computers, right? Um, and and your, Google is trying to teach one of them, right? There's a control, and then there is a uh, a learning machine, right? Um, and so what the control does is it sends out the information to the learning one, followed by a question, always a question, and then asks it to send feedback, right? And it goes back and forth and back and forth and back and forth um, until it until the learning computer finally learns what the control already knows. Right. And then it ends up becoming better and better. And that's how AI works. Uh, only the control in most cases is input from a human because we already know all of these things. And that's how we're trying to teach computers to be smart like humans. OK, so learning uh, through coaching works very similar. It's why we can't just give you the information like a course or something like that, uh, because there's no feedback system there. Right. There's no feedback loop. So then we can ask you a question about everything you just learned. Right. We can ask you a question and see if you understand it. And depending on the answer you give us, we will cater our response to is that correct or is that non correct? Or here's what I would do in your situation. Or here's, you know, you get what I'm saying. And so it's why you can't just have an input only, right? A control uh, giving you the information only without any source of feedback, um, because typically people don't learn like that. Right. Um, and you can read books and, and things like that. But we're talking about big, massive uh, transformations that you want to make. So um, I have worked with many coaches uh, and many mentors throughout my business career um, from starting my gym. I had a mentor uh, to expanding my gym. I, I got a different mentor because we were looking at franchising and things like that, which I did. If you guys have followed me at all, you know, I have multiple locations that I set up through a licensing agreement um, and franchising which I did not invent myself. I went to somebody that is already doing that. And I asked them how to structure it. And they told me exactly how to structure it for a price. And I did that. And my deal was done within three months. And I've been getting paid royalties on it for the past five years, right? Without even stepping foot in the gym. Okay. And it's because this person had already been doing it. Now I paid them, right? I paid them a certain amount to give me this information, but what I've got in return from setting it up the way I did versus how I maybe would have just Googling it um, was massively, massively different. Uh, we're talking about, you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars uh, difference um, every year with uh, what I got from that mentor and what I decided to do with it. Same thing with FitBiz. When I opened up, when I launched FitBiz University, um, I made a massive investment in mentors before I ever decided to start the company um, because I know there are people out there that have done what I'm doing uh, in their own way uh, many, many times. And some of them are, are very successful. And my goal was to try to get with the most successful person that is also teaching it, right? Not just the most successful or not just anybody that's teaching it, but the most successful person at what I want to do, that's also teaching it. And if I can get with that person, I can download their information, give them my feedback to make sure that it is exactly what they're saying. And they say, yes. And then I do that thing. That thing I've been I've been learning and applying for my entire life through started with school. Then I went on to the army where we do the exact same thing and into the business world where I do the same thing. So um, as innovative as I am, as uh, as systemized as I am and disciplined and all of these things, um, there is absolutely no way I would be where I'm at now uh, as quickly as I got there without taking information directly from someone that has already done it. Um, and taught me exactly how to do it. And I will continue to do it exactly how they teach it until I surpass their level of success because they no longer have the experience that I paid for, right? They no longer have that. So then I will then innovate or find the next mentor that is that level higher. Okay, so that's all I wanted to cover today. Um, I didn't wanna make this super long or drawn out, um, but the point is that if you had to ask me one thing that has been the catalyst to my growth and that I will continually go back to, I am constantly searching for mentors. Um, I have paid a lot of money to mentors, um, but I, what I, have, I have never ever had a bad investment because even if I only grab a couple nuggets 
I'm not going anywhere. You know what I mean? I'm staying in this game for a long time. So if I learn one thing um, and it only makes me, you know, 2000 bucks that year by applying it to my business, I'm going to be in the game for 10 years, right? So at some point I will have accumulated $20,000 of wealth that I otherwise would not have had, right? And maybe, maybe I, I broke even on my, maybe I paid $2,000 for this, this course with a coach or whatever it may be. Um, and so the first year I broke even, but I'm never going to stop doing that thing as long as it's what's working. Um, and so ultimately it's a 10 X, uh, it's a 10 X, uh, multiple on what I spent. And to me, investing in yourself in these skill sets is, is, is invaluable, man, because you can apply it to so many different situations. So anyways, um, that's all I wanted to cover today is, uh, if you are not working with a mentor, it does not have to be FitBiz, guys. Um, it could be whoever the hell you want to work with, but find somebody that is currently doing what you want, where you want to be and also teaching it. And I can promise you it will not be a wasted investment, right? Because as long as you execute it and follow what they're saying, the percentage of you being successful is so much massively higher than if you were to just try to do it yourself, right? Because um, there is this mentor, whoever it is, probably spent a ton of time, energy, and effort uh, learning all of this stuff, applying it, practicing it, and then ultimately, a, you know, teaching it to other people. They spent so much time and energy doing that. It routes back to the Picasso picture where it's like, look, no, it didn't take me 20 minutes. It took me 20 years to make this right. And so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you do uh, give it a thumbs up drop a comment, tag somebody that might like it. Um, I'm excited to, for my, my Fitbit CEOs that are listening to this right now, guys, I'm super excited to drop um, this lead gen thing in the perfect gym model uh, in a couple of weeks uh, once I'm done filming it. Um, it is a freaking game changer and you guys are going to love it. And it, it just, it is brick and mortar to the core. So anyways, guys, thank you for tuning in. Um, and I will catch you guys next Friday, 1 p.m. See you there.